Hallelujah. Sorry for the delay uh, to get here. I missed my exit. You know how that goes. Hallelujah. I should have been here 10 minutes earlier. Father, we thank you for this day and we bless your name. We magnify you, glorify you. We declare your Lordship. We declare you are the healer. You said we shall call upon your name and you answer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we bless your name. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Well, um, you know, we've had this topic on healing, on uh, healing is yours. Healing is yours. However, healing comes in so many different ways. I know it's Wednesday, I know some people have Wednesday night services, Wednesday meetings. So however, I'm gonna record this and wherever you are, you you may listen to it later, you may share with it later. Okay, so, um, we, we've done the supernatural way of healing, where God, supernaturally just touches and he was you supernatural nothing to it you don't call on him because you know it says the guy that was healed he did not even know he did not even know it was jesus who healed him but jesus healed him anyway Jesus did not want, did not wait to be known by this guy, but he healed him anyway. So that is possible. Many people have been healed. People that don't even believe in Jesus have been healed. Non-believers have been healed. People that are not living uh, a life that is worthy of God. People that are living in sin. They've been healed. I was uh, praying for someone. In, I was at the church in Ohio. There was a guy in there that lived with his girlfriend. And uh, he was a roofer. Somehow he, he fell from the ladder and cracked his back. So he was on a walker. He didn't think. You know, I mean, he knew God. So I was preaching at this church, and I said in that church, I said, um, if you are sick, if you have pain anywhere, put your hand on that body, on that part of your body that you have pain on. So this guy did it. But in his mind, he um he, he said there's no way god can heal me because i'm living in sin guess what he got healed so it say, it says in the bible that it the god will make it rain on the just and on the just hallelujah thank you lord so anyway let's go uh, today, I want to focus on um, healing through deliverance. Healing through deliverance. Look, we've done Jesus coming to you. You going to Jesus. We've done the ministry of man. How man is involved in your healing, in our healing. Uh, and then, is it yesterday, we did healing through instructions and obedience to those instructions. All that is healing. Healing through the word of God. But today, I want us to focus on uh, 
one thing, healing through deliverance. Healing through deliverance. The scripture says, I cried unto the Lord and he delivered me out of all my fears. Uh, there's a scripture that says, um, um, I'm trying to remember now. It says, the word of the Lord will heal, but also it will deliver. The word of the Lord heals, but it also delivers. It's not just healing, but also deliverance. The word of the Lord. Now, let me give you an example. The woman with the issue of the blood. In fact, let me, let me rephrase that. Do I believe every sickness is caused by the devil? No, I don't. Some of it is our own disobedience. Some of it is just you and me. We don't rest. We don't do stuff well. We don't eat right. We drink anything. We watch anything. We keep things in our hearts. We keep unforgiveness in our hearts. So all, all those things, they have ability to make us sick. The food we eat, the stuff we drink, the things we watch, the air we breathe, all these things have ability to make us sick. Now, is it possible uh, for a sickness to be caused by the devil? Can there be healing through deliverance? In Luke chapter 13, in Luke chapter 13, there's a woman that was bowed down and she could not move. She could not lift her hands. Luke chapter 13. Uh, in verse 12, when Jesus saw her, Luke 13, verse 12, when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. But uh, this woman had the spirit of infirmity, which is one of the strong men, as we study the Bible. He laid hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. He got, she got healed. It was Sabbath. Now, uh, in verse 16 of this same chapter, after these, these Pharisees started asking Jesus stuff, in verse 16, Jesus responded and says, Ought not this woman, being a daughter, I want you to pay attention to that, being a daughter of Abraham, you are, if you are a woman, you are a daughter of Abraham. If you are a man, you are a child of Abraham. You are a son of Abraham. Whom Satan has bound. So it's clear there that this woman was bound by Satan. Lord, these 18 years be loose from this bond on Sabbath day. Hmm. Hallelujah. 18 years bound the devil bound her for 18 years is it possible today that you can be a child of god and be bound for two years for five years is it possible maybe uh maybe even just your finances can be bound is it possible that they can even work and bind your kids in drugs and everything else? Yes. 
this woman was bound. And the Jesus, this is Jesus' words. Jesus said, Ought not this woman, the daughter of Abraham, today we call her born again, say, Whom Satan has bound these 18 years, be loose from this bond on the Sabbath day. They cried unto the Lord, and he delivered them out of their trouble. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Excuse me. Thank you, Savior. So, yes, what I've observed. Um, if a person is not careful, you start walking in a, in a 15, 20 degrees weather without enough clothes, clothing, you may get sick. It's a coughing. It's a doing whatever. Now, when you get sick, the sickness that came because of just something going on. When you get sick, the devil now can take advantage of that sickness and come and lie to you and just feed you more garbage. So that's why we have to obey everything including the food, including what goes on. Rest. I can need to rest at some point. Hallelujah. But let me, let me take you to this other scripture. God can deliver, but can also heal. Hallelujah. What's the difference between healing and deliverance let me just share some things from my heart that i've learned psalm 107 verse 20 says he sent his word and healed them that's what this word does he sent his word and healed them and then it goes on to say and delivered them from their destruction. All right. He sent his word. God sent his word. And that word that was sent healed us. But it does not stop there. That word that is sent is also powerful to deliver us. Hallelujah. Deliver us from the destruction deliver us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, Kedrick, I am born again. How can I even have these demons that you're talking about? You are sick. And that sickness, especially sickness that has defiled medical Thing. Doctors can't see it. Doctors think you, there's nothing wrong with you. They've done blood work. They just believe there's nothing wrong according to their medical practitioners. And you're still sick. Guess what? There's a spirit behind that sickness that has to obey, that has to be gone. There's a spirit of sickness. Hallelujah. That woman in Luke, in Luke 13, I don't know if she knew it, but when she met Jesus, Jesus addressed the spirit of infirmity. So the spirit of infirmity is what kept this woman bound. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I want to share some more on this topic. Deliverance, healing through deliverance. Most of the time, they can be a demonic entity that is attacking you. What do you do? You bind it. You bind that spirit. You've been on medicine for so long. You bind that spirit. 
in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus said, how can you destroy the strong the, the, the house unless the strong man is destroyed? So you start destroying, you start binding the strong man in the name of Jesus. And we're going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We declare your Lordship. We declare thou art God. We declare you are God Almighty. And we bind every spirit of infirmity. Like you've shown it in the Bible, we bind every spirit that is not of God. In the name of Jesus, every trickery spirit, anything that wants to trick us, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we bind those things and we declare the kingdom of the Lord will reign in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. God bless you all. Get some rest, do whatever. But listen, God can heal you through deliverance. God can heal you through singing. He's not limited. God bless you.